The Yugoslav Wars were a series of separate but related ethnic conflicts, wars of independence and insurgencies fought in the former Yugoslavia from 1991 to 2001, leading up to and resulting from the breakup of the Yugoslav Federation in 1992. It is known as one of the biggest and bloodiest wars in European history, surpassing World War II. There was a lot of war crimes and disturbingly, people made music with disturbing contents. Some of these have been lost to time. Okay, enough of this bullshit. Lost media. Kind of a no-brainer when talking about this hobby of mine. Originally, I planned this to be one big video, but honestly, I think a series of videos would be a lot more optimal, short and sweet, gets to the point, and of course, I feel like it would encourage people to give out some suggestions. Uh, also, I'm very sorry for the weird voice, I have COVID. Anywho, speaking of contributions, in commemoration for the series, I've made a community document that you, yes, you can contribute to. I've included some guidelines and enabled the document in suggest edit mode. Uh, this is because, well, concerning what we're gonna be talking about, I, I feel like it is the best thing to do. As always, please do not harass anyone involved with any media discussed. War isn't pretty and I'm sure most of these people would like to leave it in the past. Thank you very much. All right, with that said, let's get a move on. Bio Malik Ninja. I'm sure you've heard that name a million times. He's probably one of the more well-known artists in this community. As you may or may not know, he spent most of his 90s career at Superton Productions. Snogovi is one of those Superton albums, and would have been Baya's last album at the studio, at least as far as I know. It's probably one of the holy grails of Baya Lost Media, as despite most of the alleged songs being found in poor quality, the official front cover and the tape itself have never been found. While I can't find it, apparently the track listing was discovered on forums, as well as the catalog number. The title track Snogovi was actually discovered on a compilation CD named Z Zvezde Superton Produksie and was actually available on streaming platforms at some point. Why it was taken down, I'm not too sure myself. Special thanks to Sheer Speechcraft for archiving the stuff. Seriously, man, this is a godsend. If Superton themselves re uploaded the CD, this could mean that they still might have the masters lying around, hopefully in good condition, but that's that's just a theory for now. And as of 2022, that's just about it regarding any recent discoveries on the album. And don't even think about asking around. I've already done that with no luck. For now, this markup by Kreischke Studio is all that we have. Oh, uh, before we go, that's right. Uh, there was a Snagovi that was being sold on a site, but uh, don't fall for that. That's a bootleg. That is a mockup that's been seen elsewhere. That's not real. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, uh, and I'll see you in the next episode.